Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So, we've got most of the mechs fixed up here. Victor's back in 10 days. Mortis is 21. It's not going to be 21. It's 11 days. Men Shen's back in 1. Um, I pulled off one of the rocket packs on the Men Shen and put in uh, an advanced optics system on it. And I also upgraded the advanced op optics in the Archer. Um, so it's got a Mark II opt optic system in it now, which is much better than what it had. And I've still got one left over for the Victor once it's finished. We're going to put one in there. I think I, I think the Victor, um, I think I put in a Rocket Pack 20 or something as a, one of the extras. But I want to pull that out anyway and put in the advanced optics for a better chance to hit. Anyway, so that being said, uh, let's just get into a mission here straight away. Let's go to the command center. Um, I want to do, before the end of the month, I want to do Vendetta here. It's an assassinate mission in the jungle. Hopefully we can get some good salvage, get our uh, um, rating with the pirates back up here. So let's negotiate this. I'm going to go full salvage and accept. Capellans are going to hate us after this, but, you know, they're our salvage target right now, so I don't really care. All right, let's go with these guys. And let's go with our main lance here. Hopper, Arachne, Hotshot, and Queen Bee. And let's do this. Okay, here we go. Looks like we got a lance with us here. And that looks like a catapult. Probably the lighter version. It looks like they got a lance over here. And one over here. So that's our main. We can get right to the main guy. Looks like we've kind of dropped behind them. Sergeant Major Ashley Bald, huh? You're Ashley Bald, huh? Uh, what do we got here? Multi-purpose VTOL. Scorpion light tank. Plainsman. That's me. Uh, is it just the three? That's all I can see. All right, well, let's go right after the main guy. Oh, we got somebody here. Heavy APC, okay. Let's push on this main guy right away. Moving to position. No problem, on my way. Stay on foot for now, girl. Moving to position. Oh, that's us. Okay. I thought I was hearing a, a vehicle moving towards us there. At least they're staying with us. This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. Yep. Well, the ideal place would have been over here. But, you know, we're not there. We're here. Um... Yeah, I want to keep going up as high as I can get here. There he is. Let's get in the trees, though. You need to go as fast as you can, as straight as you can. Let's see if he's got any helpers over there. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Jester, huh? That's certainly a joke. <laughs> Get it? Because the Jester? <laughs> uh. Alright. What do we got over there? Owens. Okay, not so bad. Commander. Let's, uh... Give this guy the what for. Okay, what do we got over here? Medium rifle carrier. Okay, not so bad. Um, it's got Magna lasers. AMS Mark II. Okay, I mean, we don't need to do... I don't know why I'm moving the barrage up. Shouldn't really matter. Um, we don't really need to uh, hit this guy with much more than flamers. 
I don't even think we need... I, I don't think the Dervish and the Archer even need to target this guy to start. Oh, sure, if I was to do that, I would hit my own guy. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. What do we got over here? Bushwhacker. Ooh, nice. Stinger. All right. Um, let's get over here. That main guy is not getting away from us, so let's just see what we can target over here. That's the main guy. 22, 24, that's actually not that bad. That's actually pretty impressive for that guy. Um, sure. Alright, minimal damage. I'm interested to see what Hopper's hit chances are now. We went from just a basic, um, a basic, uh, um, targeting to a, uh, Mark II, which is far better. I think it gives up to a, us up to a plus three accuracy. We hit our own guy. Again. So I'm hoping we get another plus one or two hit to hit here with this uh, archer. It's beyond ranges of 270 meters, so I mean, just it's just really mitigating the range, the range chance. Multi-purpose veto. It's shocking to me how the enemy shooting at me can't hit, yet the wild shots just tend to hit me even though I've got ridiculous amounts of evasion. Like, it's just... It's beyond me. But whatever. Stop. Whatevers. Alright, let's see what we got here. So 20 on him. 60. Oh, well, this is the Artemis ammo. Let's go to regular ammo here, just so we can see. 40. Yeah, so that's actually pretty good. Much better than what than it was, that's for sure. 47 on the bushwhacker. 23 in the medium rifle. That's a lot of medium rifles. Oh, there's an Orion back here. I want that guy. 40%, huh? Um. Let's go after this guy and see if we can just trash him within the first couple of rounds here. Punch right through his armor. Yeah, I mean We gotta kill everybody, so I mean we don't have to, but we're going to. Cause that's how we do, you know what I'm saying? Man, hot shot. Got something you want done? Yeah, man, you're like woefully uh Roger that. Not out of position, but out of range for everybody here. Like seriously. Ugh, oh, even for this guy. Well we don't want to I I want to ah. I want the catapult parts, but I also want Orion parts, so... Um... I know this doesn't matter. I'm doing it anyway. Okay, well one of the lasers hit. It's an Azula. Ooh, what do we got back here? Another Orion. Ooh, Orion K. 
H and K, huh? What's this guy? This is the Azula too, right? Looks like he's pretty much out of uh, ammo there. Looks like he's pretty much out of ammo. Now, did he get out of my range here? What the hell is going on with the map? Honestly, guys, that wasn't my fault. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. Come on. How did I... I don't know how I messed the map up. Oh, I know how I did it. I was right-clicking to see what, what was on the uh, Azula here, and the map probably moved. Heavy rifle left. So he's not really a threat. All right. Um, let's start closing the gap a little bit here. And let's try and kill out. Um, some of these lighter mechs and vehicles and get them out of the way so we can focus fire the main guys. Firing on target. See ya. Okay. Waiting for orders. We need to push down this way. Double time. Let's go. Still at a range with everybody, but we gotta keep pushing to get close if we're gonna use that Gauss rifle, so um let's just shoot this guy. Target locked. It's showtime. Yeah, nothing got through. Negative damage. But hopefully, that being said, hopefully that's his AMS gone for this turn, and then I can switch Hopper over with some incendiaries. Because I think uh, I think um, Queen B is out of um, position to use her flamers. I gotta say the enemy is doing a very good job of getting out of the firing arc for her. I think I need to be, like I jumped pretty close on that one, I think I need to be jumping a little farther back so when I heat them up they don't have the ability to get out of my firing arc. Okay, you sensor locked the Owens? Yeah, okay, so it was, it was, um, Fist of Dorn that was mentioning that I could, uh, use sensor lock and fire. I didn't think we could do that, but I guess you can. Now my question is, is can you Stand double by. sensor lock somebody? So can you use the, the ping? Right? And then use... Oh, maybe. I don't know. Might be able to use the ping and then um, use the sensor lock. Uh, let's get somewhere like this. So it gives us some options for next turn. Copy that. That'll give us some options. I've got your back. Get up here with that AMS, buddy. And let's switch to some incendiaries. Um, we'll leave the ER mediums on. Roger that. No, his AMS is still working. Alright, well. Took a little more heat. That barrage should provide him a little bit of heat too, I think. I'm coming for you. Yeah, the biggest drawback of that snub nose goss is the range. Enjoy! 
Yeah, see, now he's got to move through the fire in the forest, so. 22, that's them. Jester. Oof. Good thing he went for the heavy AP, the heavy APC. I think we probably have too much evasion compared to him. Owens. Nice. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of feeling this lance has kind of got a good balance. I'm, help? I'm still kind of shocked that we're uh, we're still rocking the old um, archer here, but I really like it. <laughs> Strangely enough, I'm kind of liking this old archer. Once we can get some clan missile weapons and stuff in here, we can get some better. Um, well, that might be a good idea. We can get some better um, uh, lasers in the arms. Some more heat reduction. That's that Orion. That's the Jester. He's going to shoot down most of our missiles, though. Uh, there's the Owens. 40% on the Owens. Let's go ahead. Let's go this right and see if we can pull the Owens down this turn. We'll, we'll put both the um, Archer and the Dervish on this guy. Okay, we did a bit of penetration there. That was a critical hit, lad. That was. That was. We'll get B back on the um, the catapult. Must be our chopper. Yeah. Man, still a little bit slow on the choppers, um, but overall the uh, speed improvement is just, it's night and day compared to what it was before. I remember those missions when we, remember when we had like eight guys, you know, and there was like eight choppers on the board. It took forever for them to get anywhere. Um, I think we're just going to shoot. That's pretty darn good. Got a lot of leg damage on this guy. Yeah, I see the clustering is like just chaotic, eh? It's pretty much wherever you hit is where all the missiles are going. Like there's a couple of rogue missiles that hit the torsos and stuff, but other than that, it was all leg. Um, let's just fire on them. We might get lucky and take that leg. No, I all clustered into one spot, probably. Might have been a CT hit. That would, that would be nice. Can take him out. Okay, who's going here? Orion? There's got to be another guy back here, too. I mean, there might only be three three in this lance, but it's unlikely. Yes, Commander. Um, who do I want you on? Doesn't really matter. He's just so slow still. I think we can only hit with the tag on this. Yeah. Yeah, we got the other leg on that guy. It's kind of bizarre. Missed. It's all right. You got to get closer anyway. We got to get you a longer range weapon. I got to figure out what to do. Once we get a bigger core, we can run with the snub nose and something else. Awaiting orders. Let's confirm this. Let's get so that we're not have our back turn to the enemy. Get over here. Let's give this guy the what for. Copy that. Beautiful. 
That'll make them nice and slow now, too. Huh. AMS must be jammed. Twenty-two. Who's going on twenty-two? Not him. Owens, maybe? Who seems to have disappeared? So, what I want to do... Ooh, yeah, it was the Owens. Uh, what I want to do is I want to bring the other bushwhacker forward. we got to load that guy up, too. Um, and once we get the, uh, the, the bulk leopard in play, we'll be able to have two lances of five, which will be nice. Ooh, I wonder if he's gotten out of my fire arc again. Looks like he might have. He's cooling off pretty well over there. Uh, sure. Some heavy knockdown. I'm hoping we can get in range with uh, Hotshot. I think this guy's out of my firing arc again. He's doing a good job of doing that. I might decide to go point blank on this guy and blast him with heat again. But he's dropping his heat pretty well here. So I'm wondering if we need to put Hopper on him and heat him up. Don't know if that's going to matter though, because he's going to shoot down most of those missiles. And those uh, LRM incendiaries don't do, do a lot of uh, heat damage. It's like one point per missile that hits, so it's pretty low. Yeah, good luck with that. Alright, Hotshot. Good to go. How close to this guy can you get? That's not bad. Roger. Full speed. What are we looking at here for shooting? Let's throw it on. Gonna go after this leg, see what happens. Um Yeah, it doesn't matter. Roger that. Yeah, well. Um, Just do this. Look at that chance to hit. Beautiful. Uh, let's do some countermeasures on this guy too. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Beautiful. Light damage. Holding firm. That's a lot of heat. Where are you going now? Besides nowhere. It's going a whole lot of nowhere. Oh, what is that? Oh, Rifleman, one end. So somebody asked me why I took the old Rifleman parts, and I did answer. Um, and it is kind of self-serving that this is the same one as before. Um, I've, got your I've yet to get a Rifleman in this game. And... I want to see what it looks like in the mech bay. I'm so sorry, but that's really what I want to do. I want to see what it looks like. So, um, yeah. That's kind of why I'm doing that. Uh, shit, we could probably go this route. Should I? That's probably a bad idea. Let's hold off on those. I'm firing on the enemy. 
There we go. Legged him. That's one less hostile on the field. Yeah, I just want to see what it looks like. I want to see what it looks like in the mech bay, guys. I'm sorry. I'll probably never use it. I might. I don't know. That was sloppy, lad. But I want to see what it looks like in the mech bay. It's one of those classic Battletech mechs. When you think of the original mechs, you think of Marauder, you think of Warhammer, you think of Archer, you think of Rifleman, you know, there's just those classic Battletech mechs that you think of. And that's the only one that I haven't had a chance to see. You know? So now the new the new Marauder and the new um um, Warhammer, oh god, the new Warhammer uh, designs are kind of more techy. Like that to me looks kind of like a Warhammer with the uh, kind of, you know, right angle arms with the PPCs on it. Ah, showing up to a fight, eh? You're showing up to a snub nosed goss fight with missiles. It's fine. You do you, buddy. This guy's still firing his lasers. Showing up to a snub-nosed goss fight with friggin' missiles. Good luck. Yeah, there's, you know, those old mechs, the, the, the Griffin, the Wolverine, the Shadowhawk, Stinger, the Wasp, you know. All those original tabletop mechs. Out of all of them, I think the Rifleman's the only one I haven't had a chance to have a good look at, so... I mean, we, we, we had the Jaeger mech, but I know it's similar, but it's not a Rifleman. It's just not. Well, at least we're hitting this guy. Aye, aye. Where's his heat at? Whether we move or jump, it's going to be the same. So let's just move over way. here. We'll save the jump for when we really need it. Bar. B. Q. Yeah, burn. Burn! Yes, Commander. He's a witch. Um, ballistic energy missile. Let's give him some incendiaries. Something to think about here. Alright, a little bit of heat. He's standing in fire too, which means he's going to take heat when he moves out, so that's good. This guy's growing some testicles, decided to come back and fight. I guess when you've come to a, a battle in a vehicle with machine guns, against mechs, it's, you know, it's okay to be a little bit, uh, cowardly. Well, not necessarily cowardly, but cautious, I guess. Alright, um... Talk to me. Let's, um... Let's heat up this whacker. We'll put some missile uh, handhelds on it as well. Well, wow, the ERs are out of range, eh? Roger that. ERs are out of range, huh? Now they're not. Although we dropped our chance to hit because we moved, but no big deal. We'll just put Warlord on. That boosts it back up a little bit. Aye, aye. Would have thought that guy would have had an AMS, but apparently not. There we go. Close that gap.
Mm, 20%, but that's not bad. We'll leave the incendiaries on. Okay, tag hit. A couple more incendiaries. All right. All right. There's that AMS. You need more practice. Okay, they got a vehicle moving. It's the Azula. For House Arano. For House Arano. On 20, who's the 20? Oh, that guy's going on 12. Yeah, you know what you're facing now, buddy. You know what you're facing. He saw that big gun go off and he's like, oh shit. Whatever goes on, that can't connect. It will sooner or later. Wow, that was a whole lot of miss. That didn't hit. That's what I just said. Okay, let's keep on this guy. Um, sure. Let's go in cinderies. It's gonna be a lot of heat. Gonna be a lot of heat. Shocking that the 50-ton Dervish can put out more missiles than the Archer can, 70-ton Archer, but it is what it is. I mean, the Archer might be a prime candidate for, like, loading up an arrow system on it or something. Or a planet, pair of clan arrows, because right now those uh, launchers are 10 tons each, right? The LRM-20s? 10-ton Gs? We don't even have an, an XL engine in this thing yet, either. So once we get an XL engine in this sucker, it's going to be crazy. All right, let's just hit it with this. With this. Oh, both lasers hit. Beautiful. Keep him nice and toasty. Slow him down a bit. Now we go before that guy, so we should be able to barbecue him really nice. Then the barrage will come in. Awaiting orders. Oh, we burned through 108 heat. Oh, man. Taking heavy hits, Commander. That's because he was overheated, though. Let's jump back here. He took it because he was overheated. But he's definitely going to take that barrage. Thanks for helping out, Hopper. Oh, you got three of them. It's not bad. Could be worse. I'm shocked this guy isn't like trying to leave. Oh, three of eight, really? Or was that? Th or sorry, five of eight left. Boom. Our target is bugging out. Stop yeah. It before it gets away. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Where is he trying to get to? <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that. You, you have fun trying to get there, buddy. You have a little bit of fun trying to get there. I just fire this guy. This guy's going down. Reporting critical hit. Talk to me. This guy is going down. Roger. Ooh, laser's hitting again. Not having a good day. That is a lesson. He's pretty much done, so we're going to shift the um, Black Knight over to the uh, Orion. <laughs> Didn't even hit the guy you were shooting at. <laughs> hit the person behind him. That's so bad. They got to work on that. 
they got to work on that. I still think the percentage for uh, friendly fire is a little little too high. Or missed fire is a little too high. I mean, granted, she had she hadn't moved. She just sort of sitting still. But okay, it looks like our star chopper. Yeah, getting behind him. Ooh, double heat sink destroyed. Aye, aye. Think you were stressing out before. We do see how stressful this is going to make you. Here you go. Here's a little bit of this for you. Oh, only two hits. That's it. Yeah, thanks for contributing. Standing by. Thanks for being there. Um. Let's move this way. See what if we can engage this on Ryan or not. I don't think so. It's probably really low. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's worse. Let's go after this guy. Um, I'm going to leave the snub nose off for now. We're going to use it against the Orions. All right, one of them hit. One of the lasers hit. God, what is he out of ammo or something? Get up here and draw their fire, dude. If you're out of ammo, drive around, draw their fire, do something. Alright, I think we're going to move the Black Knight to the right. We still have four guys on the right that we need to take care of. Where do you think you're going? Oh man. This is pretty much the same as the other guy. So let's switch up to Artemis. Hopefully we get some good clustering on this guy. We're going to go ahead and fire. Those look like nice shots. Ready for orders. All right, hot shot. You know where you know where you're going. Oh, uh, really? Understood. Moving fast. Yeah. That was fast. You're there already, buddy. Wow, that's that's really fast. Um Okay. We'll just uh, you know, hold off for now. You can engage the four guys on the right. You got eleven rounds left with a snub nose, it should be plenty. Now this guy, he's got severe problems. The worst thing is, is he has to run past us to get out, and then we can just target his back. So I'm not really that worried about him. How can I help? Yep, let's give him some more incendiary love here. We might run out of missiles here. Nah, we got lots. Besides, the archer's got a pair of uh, ER, ER medium lasers. That should be plenty. Should be plenty. Yes, Commander. Snuggle right up behind this guy. Hi there. What's your name? Mine's Queen B. Target lock on enemy's rear. Whoa! See ya. Yep, you weren't going anywhere, buddy. Now, hopefully, the rest of our guys push the front. Push the tempo. Push the tempo. 
Get up there and push the tempo. Oh Christ, our evac zone's right in the center. It's interesting. If we had started on the hill across the river there, in between the two enemies, we could have taken out one flank, then the other flank, then killed the main guy, and then gotten out at all in a one easy Commander. easy motion. Alright, let's hammer this Orion again. God, the clustering is murderous in this. Uh, who do I want you on? How far can you get here? Not very far. Well, we can start over here a bit. Roger that. Give them something to target. And I'm going to go ahead and do um, this. Okay. I've got your back. And might as well go this route. Because why the hell not? And fire. Engaging target. Yeah, the bushwhacker knows he's done. He's just trying to hang on right now. Oh, that was a kill. That was a kill. He went down 75%. So that guy's gone. Commander. All right, here we go. Let's engage this side now. All right, a little bit of damage. So the Orion pieces, we should get at least two. I think we've got, correct me if I'm wrong, I think we've got three. We've got two of one kind, one of another. But just to be sure, I'm going to take two Orion parts and probably the Rifleman part. <laughs> he says tentatively. All right, I guess we got to start moving now. He hit you with the AC-10. I don't. How much more practice does he need? Unless he's attempting to headshot you. He did pretty well. That thing sounds so dangerous and yet isn't really. If it gets close, it could be bad. I think the heavy rifles, they do, if I'm not mistaken, they do 50 each, 55 each or something. It's like an AC-10 or something. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, you deal with the Orion. Let's go ahead and give him the rest of the Artemis. And then we're going to switch these guys to standard, I think. And just fire. Well, yeah, there's that guy gone. One left target. No LRMs remaining. Lifting up. Let's give this guy a whole lot of fuck you right here. What's up, buddy? You like flamers? Firing on target. I like flamers. Oh, only two hits. Looks like we got the barrage on him, though. So I'll take that. I'll take the barrage and two hits. I mean, the barrage doesn't... I mean, once you get higher in level, the barrage doesn't really do that much. If you can catch a bunch of guys together that are slow, then, you know, for one ton, I think the damage it does, the uh, area area of effect damage is pretty good. Considering it never runs out of ammo and you can use it once every three turns, it's not bad. A 
I feel sorry for you. I I, I really do. On my way, double time. Feeling sorry for that guy. Well, yeah, we missed with the big one. How can I help? On my way. All right. Um. Yeah, that guy's really not worth it. 54 on the Orion, huh? Let's go with these. Affirmative. Let's clean this up and get out of here. So that looked like a lot of leg and torso hits there. Glad our allies are really helping out here. At least they're moving forward and not just kind of like turning their torso left, turning their torso right. I think it hit once, it looked like, anyway. Could be wrong. Alright, let's keep getting back over this way. Got range on this guy firing. firing. Receiving you. I copy. God, this mech has been pretty much useless this whole battle. Still missed. Awaiting orders. Well, your mechs can't be useful all the time. In every battle. I mean, it's nice to try, but... Depends. I guess if you specialize them, you might as well forget it. Copy that. I've got your back. I think overall, though, I think our team is pretty well balanced. Roger. Alright, we still got some Artemis left. Let's use that on this guy. This guy's armor is slowly getting shredded. He's like, can we go home, man? Do we have to keep fighting? I want to go home. Come on, you bastards. Let's go. It's our chopper next. Maybe he'll move in and shoot. He's actually been doing the most work in this one. The VTOL, he's hit pretty well with that PPC. Yeah, thanks for showing up. Boom! How does 50 bullets in your ass make your day? All right, we're in range. I don't think we need to move. Ooh, the uh, Orion disappeared, though. Let's go ahead and reserve. Because we got Queen Bee up next. She's going to jump over there, get some sensors on those guys. Probably just do a ping on this one. Maybe we'll see. I don't know. That might really help out um, Hotshot. Yeah, but that uh, Black Knight is really a close-range mech. If we get a Clan XL engine, that's really the mech it needs to go into. The Black Knight, so we can up the weight of the core. Standing by. All right, let's do this. I'm loving the resolve that we've got for these guys now. Okay, let's get right into here. Let's get a ping going. I've got a sensor 
Look at the evasion on this. Look at it. It's fucking crazy. Talk to me. Let's give it to this guy. Oh yeah. We got 60 rounds left, so let's just use it. How are we doing here? Pretty good. We could torso this guy if we get if we clustered this torso, he's gone. Let's fire. Not that worried about the components on these guys either. Because there really isn't, other than the bushwhacker, I mean, there's no real internal components that are amazing on these mechs. Maybe the catapult. How far can you get? You can't even see these guys down here. There we go. Move order received. What's up, Archor? Ah, uh, still miss with it. We penned something though. Don't know if it was the vehicle on a, on a splash over. I've got an enemy flanking to the side. Yeah, let him flank. Huh. That's it, huh? He's got an AC-10. Is he out of ammo? Can't be out of ammo. Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. Use up all that ammo so it doesn't show up in salvage. <laughs> yes, Commander. Uh, I know it'll still show up in the salvage, but you know what I'm you know what I mean. I don't want it. I don't want it. Roll to that. Okay, let's get over here. And, yep. Locking on. See ya. That's two Orions for you. Good job. Fuck it, shoot right over her head and hit this guy. Firing. It's like you just see her ducking down too, dude, just so that it misses. Uh, can we attack anybody? We can. Not a very good chance to hit, but we're gonna take it anyway. Target confirmed. Nothing. Missed. That's all right. That's all right. That is not your primary job. Lifting off. Ready for orders. Shit, dog! You don't even need to move. All are there you go. Finally. Reporting critical hit. Little late, but better late than never. Better late than never. If I had to pick a champion out of all these all of our allies, it's that VTOL man. Okay, Hopper. Do we got a line of sight on anybody? Can we get a line of sight on anybody? No, we can't. Let's just get a little bit of height, though. Copy that. Get a little bit of height. That'll help, a little, help out a little bit. Rifle carrier is pretty badly damaged. Uh, we're going to switch to incendiary. Target confirmed. Yeah, see, if this was, if we were facing all heavy mechs, our lance just isn't in the position that we could do that, with, especially with the two missile boats. We need a lot more energy weapons, I think, because we just don't have the ammo for it for the long battles. We'd have to make damn sure that every shot was counting. Guy's hanging in there. He's hanging in there. Something you want done? He's got some balls Bring too. Out. Let's relieve him of those. I hope we can salvage that. You really? You think so? Talk to me. You really hope that? Do you care? 
because I don't. It's going to give us a little better chance to hit. Not much. On but that could probably do it. Yep. Never stood a chance. Orders. He did, but just not a very not a very good one. Where was that line of sight? There we go. Get a bit more height on this guy. Not much, but a little bit. Standard. Uh, do we have incendiaries? We got 90 left. Yeah, see, I mean, we did okay. We had 120 dead fire left, but we weren't close enough really to use it, so... Yeah, we just we just kind of had enough ammo. Wonder how the archer's making it. I should check it out. I think the archer carries a little bit more overall. That's out of that's out of range. That's not. That's not. We want to get into close range here, do the best we can on this guy. Tag missed. Wow, really? Failed to connect. I can see that. You're just getting tired. That must be what it is. The past few times you've had a hard time hitting. Oh, one point damage, huh? Light damage. Holding firm. Don't shoot me, shoot him, for Christ's sake. Looks like you're shooting me. Okay, Arachne. Yeah, I don't think we can get him in line of sight here. What if we sprint? Oh, yeah, we can if we sprint. Let's do that. Keep the LOS on him. Now, we've got 40 incendiaries. Go to standard with this one. Fire. Firing. No long range missiles remaining. Commander. Oh, you got a half dozen or so. I don't know what you're worried about. Confirm. Let's see if this makes a difference. Flamer. Ooh, three hits, nice. Receiving you. I'm already there. Ah, just keep pushing it. Yeah, I don't know what I would like. I don't know. We got to consider what we're going to put as secondary weapons on that Black that. Knight. We need, we definitely need a longer range weapon somewhere along the way. Let's just fire from here. All right, we got some incendiary and standard left. Yeah, Hopper's got a ton of ammo left. Just go all incendiary. Here it comes. Say goodbye. Ooh, he's almost done. Punch right through his armor. One more turn. LRMs are out. Yeah, see, he's loaded up pretty well, but then. He's got 10 LRMs less than uh, Arachne, though. She's got 50 tubes. So he's only got 40. Yeah, yeah. That was a miss. Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh, whoa. But then again, she still has 120 rounds of dead fire, so if she was in closer, you know, she'd be okay. Right? That's all we got left. Alright, let's just use these two. Meh. He moved out though, so we got the Black Knight. Wow, this guy's actually moving up. Talk to me. 
All right, Hopper, see if you can finish him up. He's in the he's in the open. We'll use the Artemis and then standard. Here it comes. Here we go. Oh, not quite enough. That was well, it was. Why well, I don't know why I talk. Mission successful. There it is, folks. All right, contract payment increased by 20%. That'll more than cover any damage that we've got. We took a bit. We didn't do a lot of moving, but um, I wanted the better chance to hit, especially at range. Okay, so we've got three of this type of bushwhacker already. They got four parts of a bushwhacker. Catapult J, 65-ton jester. Now, I don't think we've got any catapult parts, but I do know we've got different types of Orion parts. I think we do the I think we do what we said we were gonna do. We're gonna grab the two Orion parts and this because I want to see what it looks like. I'm kind of silly like that. And then we just roll to see what we get out of this. Because there's not really a lot down here that we need. Like this might be nice if we get it. XL engines, I mean the regular XLs I'd probably just sell. The exchanger would be nice, but we've got like, yeah, we still got one sitting in there. Stability gyro. Double heat sink kits, but we've, I think we've got one still, don't we? Yeah, we've got an extra one still. Sensor Sentinels. We've got one of these still, too. Um, yeah, not really much down here, so let's confirm this. Okay, we got a catapult part and a stinger part. Meh. AMS Mark II. Oh, that's kind of nice. LRM-15, which we can just go ahead and sell. Heat sinks can go. We want to keep that. We want to keep this. That's kind of nice. HE. What does it do? 20% jam chance. Dumb, one damage to missile. 10 shots per active. Volatile ammo rolls twice to explode. Okay. Well, that's kind of interesting. LK half load we'll keep, and we'll get rid of this. Alrighty. All right, 21,000 in five days for repairs. That's not that bad at all. Okay, so let's go to the mech bay real quick. Now, I know we can't... Um, what the... He's just a little excited about seeing that rifleman, I think. <laughs> all right, so we don't have enough Orion parts. We've got one, the H, we've got the C... I thought, we, I thought we had more than that. C, the H, the K, is the... Oh, the K may not be... Com Do we need two parts? It's compatible with these guys, but I guess we have to have half of a Mac before we can. So we do have four parts, just not enough of one type of Mac to be able to put something together. That's probably it. All right, well, at least we've got the newer versions, a couple of the newer versions here. So, I mean, I don't know. We'll see what happens. And then medium, Bushwhacker, we're gonna bring forward sooner or later. Yeah, this guy's obsolete, but let's just ready it just, just to check it out. All right, let's have a look. I'm just going to put it down here for now. Yeah, see, they kind of, they made this a little more sleek, too. It's not quite the original rifleman look, you know? Like the arms were just straight on the original rifleman. They didn't have this kind of jointed look. And I think the cockpit was set back and this was more like, rather than having it tilted like this, it was just more like a straight, like almost like a um, the radar thing you would see on top of a ship or something. The legs are pretty darn close though. The body's pretty darn close. The same, it's kind of got the same upper wide torso. Because I think the original rifleman had an AC-5 in each arm 
a large laser in each arm, paramedium lasers in each torso, and then the ammo was in each torso, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure that was it. And it had light armor. It wasn't really that heavily armored. But we've got enough, see, we got enough components to, like, trick this guy out. Because we've got, uh, I've kept some stuff here. So if we go down, actually, just go to cores. Um, not there. They changed some of these things, so I don't really know. There it is. We've got standard fusion cores and stuff we can drop in. We've already gained, like, you know, 2.3 tons right there. Primitive armor, we can upgrade, you know, ferrofibrous, like endosteel. Or we're already saving five and a bit tons. We can up the armor a bit, you know. So it isn't completely useless. 240 core is not bad. It's the 50 ton rifleman, right? Yeah, medium mech. So it's not a bad, not bad for this size of mech. You know, and then if we, depending on, it's like laser, well, it's only four laser hard points, so it's not really that much. But this would be good for uh, anti-air targeting, eh? Plus one evasion pips ignored. That's kind of cool. Special slot. Okay, that's just nothing. Um, but yeah, we can put some targeting and stuff on this, get a better gyro in here. Like, do we have, I don't think we've got, we've got an ultralight gyro, I think. Or do we? Do we use it? No, I think we've got an ultralight somewhere. I must have passed it. we got tracker sensors we haven't put in either. So this guy had a couple of ER larges. It'd be good for a lighter lance, you know? Oh, here we go. You know, so there we're already like almost eight tons worth of extra space. So it could be usable. I'm not going to do anything with it right now. I mean, we'll replace all this stuff too, right? The primitive gear and the cockpits and that because we've got fire control systems and cockpits and sensors and stuff that we can drop in with no problem. But, I mean, technically you could probably put, I mean, if you did it right, four ER large lasers. Probably. Right? And then you could drop a couple of exchangers in. Ah, oh, you can only use one. Yeah, it could be done, you know. And if you get the right, if you get the right heat sink kit in here, like what are we at now? 66, 36 per large laser, 72, 144. Meh. Maybe. Maybe. Right. Anyway, I'm going to leave this for now. Um, what we'll do is I'm going to get it repaired. I'm going to put it in storage. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and just do a quick repair on this guy. Put it in storage. And then um, might as well just pull these out for now. Actually, just strip it. And then confirm it. It's only going to be 134,000 in four days. But I'll put it in storage. We'll pull it out when we're going to get have... Uh, like a lighter lance later on. I'll let you know when that's done. But yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. You know? Yeah, it looks all right. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully next time we can get... Well, well we next time we will have the uh, the Victor up and running. Not sure if that's going to replace the Minshen or not in the next in the other lance or what we're going to do with it, but we'll figure it out. Maybe it's going to replace the Mortis. I don't know. Um... I'm kind of still up in the air about the mortise. I just don't think it's fast enough for a good melee mech. And it does get in, but it doesn't really... I don't know. I'm kind of up in the air. So maybe we'll replace the mortise with the victor. See how that lance runs that, with that way. And then we'll go from there. All right. But I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.